Oh my God, hit me baby one more time. So good. The original B Spears anthem, by the way. Um, she made plaid look sexy. You guys made plaid look sexy. So tell yeah, me, yeah. Tell me all about tonight, how it felt. I thought you were gonna say, tell me about how Jenna convinced me to get into this costume because I don't know you. <laughs> but I was pumped up about it. I still am pumped up about it. It's a, it's a great night. Um, this dance by far was my favorite. Not even a competition. I think because it really challenged my brain and. It made you perform differently too. It did. It, I wasn't able to just go out there and perform and go crazy. It was more of a, I have to rein everything in and I have to use my energy just between us yeah. and use it in a different, more aggressive type of way. And it, it just was fun. It was so fun. And I just, I'm sad that I'm not going to do that dance again. Oh. It was the first time we saw like sexy Jojo and I'm so yes. into it. Love her. I am here for it. And Jojo, I didn't realize that you were so strong doing all those lifts. <laughs> That's because of this one. I, in the beginning of the season, on our first rehearsal, I told Jenna, I said, I can't do a single push up. And now we're up to 31 push ups. Yep. Oh my God. Welcome to Jenna's boot camp. We do yep. push ups every day, we do planks every day. And she literally has like, become ripped and I'm I'm so happy and then because of that I'm like hey can you lift me can you just spin around with holding me no worries catch me as I leap into your arms yeah <laughs> yes. sure, let me get right on it I that's like it. the end game yeah. yeah yeah oh my gosh well I would take one of your boot camp classes any day if that's the thing thanks girl oh. <laughs> they're the best boot camp ever <laughs> right clearly it's working so Jojo you say that you have a special connection to Brittany there's a lot of similarities there there is. I think that Brittany, being a child star, understands what being a child star is like. It's like you only get, you only know if you know. And being a child star, there's a lot of things that are hard for other people to relate to or for other people to understand. And so I can look to someone like her and see what she's done and see the path that she's taken and see what I like, see what I don't, see what she likes, see what she didn't like. You you learn from the people that come before you. And for me, Brittany is somebody who came before me and who I can look at and whose career I can look at and who I can model after. Yeah. And you mentioned there's, there's a lot of difficulty there. There's a lot of like pressure of being in the spotlight and all the bullying that might come along with it too. Oh yeah. I mean, every single day, no matter what, I'm going to get hated on. It's like, it's not even a question. And I, actually surprised myself when I heard my package today because I said what some people would say to me and it's just it's wrong but I can handle it but my problem is for the people who can't handle it that yeah. that's why I want it to all go away because it just it's so unnecessary you yeah. know if you could be happy why would you want to just be happy what would be your message to people who are experiencing that kind of like online bullying or maybe even in-person bullying you know at school or whatever the case may be this could do with bullying. This could do with not bullying, just something that's making you sad. Find mm -hmm. something that makes you happy and run towards it and don't look back. And I think that that is really, really, really important that if someone's being mean to you, you are so deep into what's making you happy that you can't, you can't even see. You're too far away to see it. And I think that's really important and a lesson that I'm reminded of too daily. Yeah. The best revenge is success. You know, it's like, I don't wish any ill will on others. I only wish good things for myself. That's you know? right. I feel like that's how, that's how you need to look at it. Uh, Jenna, last week I interviewed Val and I told him that you guys were kicking his butt <laughs> on the dance floor. And he was like, he's like, I'm, I'm well aware. I understand. Um, <laughs> does that competition like trickle into your, your house? <laughs> well, no, you because... Wish. Technically, right now, we are separated from oh, each no. other because of the show. So we have to live separately because of COVID during the show. Oh, thank you, COVID. Like, yeah, thank wow. you so much, COVID. Uh, I really love that for me. Um, anyway, but no, I it's, it's so funny because I have been loving. And even tonight, I think Carrie Ann was like, that's the best night or the best dance of the night to Val and Olivia. 
And I love seeing him thrive. I feel like this is such an epic season for him. He has somebody that he can go really far with. He better be in those finals. And I hope we see him there. Um, And I hope he gets second. (laughs) That would be, by the way, that would be amazing if it were down to like the two of you. They've never had a married couple in the finals. So like, come on, let's We're manifesting it right now. It's going to happen. I I hope we're manifesting it. But no, I, I love seeing him thrive. Um, and he he's really is our happy. biggest supporter. And oh so, yeah, we yeah. love it. He's almost become like an older brother to me. Yeah. Like he's, he's a good he's guy. So cute. One more question. I know that, uh, you know, Cody and Cheryl had to do this remotely and separately tonight. I mean, can yeah. you, from a professional dancer standpoint, how difficult is that to work with somebody like basically over Zoom? <laughs> Super hard because, you know, there's a lot of chemistry that you build together in a room. And being able to be hands-on is so helpful while learning a dance. So, so sad that they weren't able to be here, but so happy that they were able to figure it out, do it via Zoom. I mean, work. They pulled it together. They were safe. So, um, hoping that they get well soon and are able to be back in the ballroom in person. Well, I really enjoy talking to you ladies each and every week. Congratulations. You keep killing it on the dance floor. Seriously, doing such a good job. Way to go. Thank you. (laughs) See you. next week. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.